third consecutive game. Derrick Rose, R.J. Barrett, Reggie Bullock, Julius Randle, and Taj Gibson. The crowd was rocking. They were into it from the start. The Knicks, however, got off to a slow offensive start, missing their first five shots, and they trailed six to nothing. It took two and a half minutes before they finally scored on a Reggie Bullock three-pointer. But Atlanta was having its own struggles early. They missed their first nine three-pointers before Kevin Herter knocked one down. And by the end of the first quarter, we were all tied at 21. Julius Randle starting to get back on track with 10 points in that first quarter, but he also had two fouls and four turnovers as the Knicks shot 30% as a team. In the second quarter, the game remained very tight. Burks for the Knicks, trying to cross over Collins, gets it back from Bullock, behind the back crossover, in the lane, the scoop, around, and good! Hit every piece of the iron on a brilliant crossover by Alec Burks, and we're tied up at 31. The Knicks' biggest lead in the first half was four. The Hawks' biggest lead was seven. But after a slow start shooting, Randall started to get going in that second. Randall, right arc for three. It's good. On the feed from Barrett. Randall with 13. Knicks down by three. Randall had 15 points and 10 rebounds by halftime. The first Nick in history with a double-double in each of his first five postseason games. He was 5 for 11 from the field in the first half, but Randall was just one of two Knicks in double figures in that first half. Derrick Rose with Herter chasing him to Bullock for three. It's good. Deposits it for the right corner. Evan Bullock with four threes in the first half. Reggie Bullock was feeling it early. All 12 of his points came in the first half. The Knicks trailed 52-47 to 47 at the break, but there was a bit of a skirmish going off the court after the second quarter. It resulted in three technical fouls, Solomon Hill for Atlanta, but Julius Randle and Nerlens Noel for the Knicks. So Atlanta started the third quarter with a Trey Young technical free throw, which he made, and for the Knicks, it didn't get much better from there. In the third quarter, the Knicks had five field goals,